Plants and cacti indoor gardens are among the easiest ways to enjoy the wonderfully diverse group of plants. And this morning, our garden guy, Dale Kay, shows us how to build our own DIY succulent garden that won't require a lot of time or maintenance. Good day, everyone. About this time of year, everyone's dreaming or oh, wishing for warmer temperatures. And if you like the warm, you like the desert, you like the heat, well, there's nothing more alluring than having a cactus or succulent garden in your own home. It certainly sets the mood for warmer temperatures to come. But the reason I love having a little uh, succulent garden or a cactus garden in my home is it's so much fun to make for two reasons. Firstly, you get to go to your favorite local garden shop and peruse and buy and, and source some wonderful, fantastic, different types of uh, portulaca, succulents, cactus. There are literally thousands and thousands of varieties you can choose from. So for me, just to poke around garden shops and um, look online, see what people are doing, it's super fun um, pastime, particularly in the winter months. The other thing that's really fun to incorporate is the ceramics that you put them in. And that's kind of interior design. Not only do succulents and cactus look great on your wall, they'll also look great in a pot. So sourcing different types of ceramics. Look at this little fun one I found. A little kind of a barrel cactus container. That's super fun. Terracotta, always super popular. But whatever your style of ceramic, make sure that what goes into it is a cactus type soil. And usually a cactus soil, look, it even says it on the front. A cactus soil will actually be more porous than a regular potting soil. It will have bigger uh, chunks so the, the soil drains a lot easier. A lot more airflow around the roots because generally speaking cactus and succulents are very shallow rooted so the potting soil will match that. Super important to use that type of potting soil. From there a shallow dish is just fine. Um, Actually, I'm really, like, I'm really liking this kind of funky little barrel thing. That will look quite fun in one of my window sills. Actually, this is going to go right um, in my bedroom. I've got a spare window. It doesn't have anything. It doesn't have a plant next to it. The other two do, but this one will look quite nice there. So that's really my style choice. Now, of course, you could pick really any container to suit your decor. I'm going all hands in and making quite a mess, but that's all right because getting your hands dirty, that's fun too. Look at that, even some dirt underneath the nails, look at that. Okay, so we're just gonna rest that there like that. So then the selection becomes super important to fit the pot. And then maybe actually select the plants, then maybe select the pot. That might be a good idea too. I might've got those two back, back to front, but that's okay. We're winging it. I love this little blue portulaca. It's gonna look quite fun against the green pot. And then I'm gonna need Something taller in back, I think. Aloe, this little cactus. No, actually, I'm just going to put that in there, and then that's going to trail over over the edge. I'm going to put pine soil there to create a true garden. I think I'm going to need something a little bit more of an open pot. There, that way we can get a lot more choices in there. Aloe, super popular succulent. Love these. See them all over social media. This is going to be kind of like my something tall in the middle. This little barrel cactus. Oh, it's not too spiky, but I'm going to always use caution. There we go. I absolutely love this little barrel cactus. It is so adorable. The spines are super fine, so they won't really hurt you too much. Another little cactus. And I guess that's the thing to do too is these, these cactus and succulents, they will actually grow and get quite bigger. So leave lots of space. That's why I kind of just put that one succulent in that other pot. I'm going to add some, some rocks. Everyone's going to ask, well, Dale, how often do you water the, your cactus? I'm going to say about once every three weeks. Once every three weeks. I'm going to give this a drink. Once I plant it, we'll get you standing up straight. We'll just finish the, the stones. And there you go. So this one's going in the bedroom. This one, I think, is going to go on the dining room table for right now. That's going to help me think about summer and warmer temperatures to come. A great DIY gardening project. Back to you.